there, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. Today I'm gonna to do something yet a little bit different. I'm actually working on my new book and it's about, it's a kid's book for yoga and so I do kind of like the storyboard. Here it is, it's got a whole bunch of chicken scratches and stuff like that and I am going to try to uh, draw this picture and I'm doing this on just Microsoft Paint and thought that this might be something that would be kind of, I don't know, interesting, different, who knows. But maybe you think this is cool and maybe you think this is just plain weird and maybe you have a better way of doing some of this. So I'm gonna try to just kind of show you. It's gonna move up a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna just show you how I go about doing this. And again, this is just on Microsoft Paint and I, again, I'm gonna just be quiet and show you, you can use a stylus. Um, many of you have better ones than, than the one I have here. Just kind of got it on Amazon. Or I actually just use my, wow, well, where is it? My mouse. Um, so I'm just gonna be rolling it around and get started. And um, I think it's just really important to have your ideas written down and this is you're gonna see this is gonna be just a lot of trial and error I have the marker I guess on um, two pixels right now and I'm just gonna start sketching I, I'm gonna just guess that a lot of you have much better ways of doing what I'm doing and we're gonna just try it out and see how this looks. So I'm just gonna start drawing. And I kind of like using the mouse a little bit more just because you get that crosshairs piece of it. And then you can kind of see what you're doing a little bit more. Um, but, and I like, I'm so old fashioned, like an eraser is actually like an eraser for me. I kind of move it like one. So you can change the the pixels of your eraser as well and you can uh, zoom in more on your picture like this and just kind of see where your art is going so these are her arms i'm going to just come back to this uh, part of it let me see or maybe not i don't know But like I said, this is for a book that I'm writing, and this is actually my going to be my fifth book. That's hard to believe, but I wanted some original art, and my daughter actually told me to put some of this on a computer so that I could like copy paste this and see what I could do with it. Hmm. Sometimes stuff just looks a little wobbly. And that just means, wobbly just means you've had too much chai today uh, for me. So, 
you hear some noise in the back, that's my dog sleeping for a nap time.
Oops. The last thing I do here, as you can tell, the girl's pretty much taken up shape. So I go to the spray paint can and just add a little bit of oops, paint into her, her hair. And this gives it just a little bit of texture actually and some really very nice shading. So um, again, by no means is any of this perfect and I'm just kind of learning how to do this, but I just thought I would share, kind of like sharing my creative process. And I hope that this is just kind of fun to see it taking shape and um, just gives you a glimpse into what I do. Um, just, you know, busy time, free time. Um, I have, oh golly, how many, how many um, things do I have left? I have, Oh, um, about, oops, I have a, about, um, about 35, maybe 40, um, there's my signature. I have about 35 or 40 drawings left to make, and so I'm going to be working on this for quite some time, and I'm um, just... Thought that this might be kind of fun to show you online and to show you what another type of a process is but there's my cute little little praying um indian girl and so if you like this message would you just like it for me and give me some comments if you have some better ways to do this you share that too because i think that would be fun to collaborate together and just see what other ways now i do know that you can um you can actually whoops you can use uh procreate which everybody talks about but you know what i don't have money to spend on a ipad and i do not have that yet so this is just a way to do it on your laptop using microsoft paint hope you like this video until next time bye